This is a model that was sent to me by a middle school teacher and the class wanted to print this structure on their 3D printer but they ran into trouble and the reason for that is that these are all faces and edges and in SketchUp faces don't have any thickness and you might think we could use just use push pull and extrude these up well we can but all the faces are at compound angles to each other so we run into some serious problems pretty quickly and uh, basically it trashes the geometry I'm going to control Z to get back where we were and I'm just going to start from scratch to recreate this there's some interesting ways to go about building this I'm going to start with the base and it's a rectangle it's 400 millimeters on each side so I make the rectangle I type 400 comma 400 and hit enter and it snaps to its right size now the top of this is 187 millimeters square to make that perfectly spaced inside I use the offset tool and I come in 106 and a half millimeters hit the enter key so this face here is going to be the top and I want to move it 600 millimeters straight up so on a, when I get the move tool I can't move it on the blue axis uh, because that would involve creating extra geometry if I tap the alt key that invokes auto fold and there it is now I can move that up and auto fold creates the needed geometry to make the move so once I've got it in the right direction I'll type 600 I'll hit enter and I'm good to go if I orbit around the bottom of this it's open so I want to enclose that and I can do that just by drawing a line from point to point this is also inside out the faces need to be reversed so I can just click three times on the geometry right click to bring up the menu and then reverse faces is the choice I make from the menu that turns the faces right side out the other thing I want to do is divide this vertically into three sections when I right click over a line one of the options is divide when I click divide these little red squares appear and as I move the cursor uh, different numbers will show or I can type in a number and hit enter so there's three segments it still looks like a single line until I click in space to let it go and now I can see that it's three individual lines with the line tool and I'm using the keyboard shortcut L to bring up the pencil now I can just draw a horizontal line from an endpoint on the axis over to the other side now I can use the offset tool but before I do I want to think about this there's a lot of pieces and parts here and rather than draw it all I'm gonna draw one side and then copy that with rotated copies to make the other three and just to give myself an easy place to rotate around I'm going to put a guideline that's in the middle of this lower face. So there's my midpoint inference. Going that way, I want another one at 90 degrees to it. There it is. So this intersection is going to be the center of this lower face. While I'm down here, I'll just get the offset tool from the toolbar. I'll hover on this lower face. I'll click once. I'll move the cursor in, I'll type 4 and hit enter. And that created this interface 4 millimeters in from the other one. And I'll do that all the way up. I'm using the keyboard shortcut F to get the offset tool now. So I hover, I click, I move it in, type the dimension and hit enter. So there's the last face and I'll do the same thing for the top
Now, if I think about this, the way these corners want to join is essentially a miter joint. If I draw a line from corner to corner on that top face, I'll do the same thing over here. And I want to orbit around to see the bottom and do the same thing as well. Now as I orbit, I'm putting the cursor right over the point I want to zoom into. Type L to get the line tool. Make sure I'm on the right point. And now I have it. I'm going to orbit around to see this from the side. I'm going to draw a left to right selection box. And that got everything entirely in that box. And I'm now going to right click make that a group. With that a group, I can click three times on any of this other geometry, hit the delete key, and I can get rid of it. Now to continue on, I'm going to have to open the group for editing. So that's a double click. And now I can get rid of the geometry I don't need, which is these three faces. I'm holding down the shift key to get them all hitting the delete key and then I also want to get rid of this line and this line so if I hold down the shift key I can select them both and hit delete what I need to do is create some faces and this point I drew this miter line if I draw a line from this point at the top to the corresponding point down at the bottom. I'm going to zoom in and make sure I'm on it. That created this angled face for the edge. I want to get over to the other side. So there's the start of my line. Come in and there's the end of the line. Now that line created this face on the edge, it also created this one on the inside. So I'm getting closer to having solid pieces here. I want to repeat what I did on the front side, and that's to divide this into three equal sections. So I right clicked over the line, I'm hitting the divide, I'm moving the cursor till it says three, and I now have three line segments here. So from the ends of those lines, I just want to draw on axis. I'm going to make sure I find the end point to start. Look for the axis inference. And now I have three faces here. So again, I can take the offset tool. I can hover on a face, bring it inside, type 4, hit enter. Do that again. Type 4 and hit enter. And again, I have some extra faces. So I'm going to hold down the shift key, select those three faces. While I've got the shift key held down, I'll also get these two lines. When all of that is selected, I'll hit the delete key and make them disappear. So now I have inside surfaces, I have outside surfaces, I have a top, a bottom, and an edge. What I don't have are these inner edges, these inner faces. Some of these are kind of hard to see. I have a keyboard shortcut set up for face style x-ray, and that lets me see through things. So now I can take the line tool, and I'm just going to draw corner to corner and I'll continue drawing these corners. If the x-ray gets confusing, the nice thing about having the keyboard shortcut is I can toggle it on and off just by hitting one key. So when I draw a line between two points that encloses a space, that defines a new face, and that's what I want to do here. So that's the first line on a space. I'll come in here to this corner 
and that should make a face appear on this inner edge. Now I want to orbit around to the other side, zoom in on this corner, I'll type L to get the pencil, and I just want to continue on and go from point to point. So with the x-ray as a keyboard shortcut, that's a little quicker, saves a little bit of orbiting to get these points. And there should be one more up here. And that should get me completed faces all the way around this. And I'll do a quick visual look. It looks pretty good. To be sure, if I open up my Entity Info window, so I'm going to select that group first, look at the Entity Info window, that tells me it's a solid group. And that's what I'm looking for. There's no holes, no extra lines, no geometry inside of this. Now I can select it, get the rotate tool, click on the intersection of those guidelines to start my rotation. Rotate acts a lot like move. If I tap the control key, a little plus sign appears and it's now in copy mode. So I make one click, that's the center, here's another click, and that's the reference. As I come around, I'll click again at 90 degrees. Now I can just type 3x and hit enter. And that made three copies all the way around. So I have four solid groups. Those will 3D print. I want to do one more step here, and that's to combine those with the outer shell tool. And so there's the tool, and I'll just select these. What Outer Shell does is combines them and it removes any lines that are dividing them. So now I have one solid group. I'll double check that with Entity Info. Yes, it's a solid group, so I can export that as an SDL file to my 3D printer and we're good to go.